All right, so this is the unit tri two trig review, questions four through six. The uh, directions say to find the exact value of the expression, do not use a calculator. And number four says we have to find the inverse cosine of the cosine of four pi over five. Please note that the inverse cosine is the inverse operation of cosine. So most of the times these two will cancel each other out and you'll just have the angle left over. But sometimes you have to move the angle. So you have to check these out and you have to know what the ranges are of the inverse functions. So before I even start touching this, I have to know what the range of inverse cosine is to know where my answer is supposed to be. So if you know the ranges of the inverse functions, you will know that the inverse cosine function is in quadrant one and quadrant two. So if the value is positive, it will end up in quadrant one. And if the value is negative uh, or a cosine is negative, I should say, it ends up in quadrant two. So as long as I have an angle in either quadrant one or quadrant two, I'm okay. So the question is, is, 4 pi over 5 in quadrant 1 or quadrant 2. Okay, so 4 pi over 5 isn't really a familiar angle to us. Uh, you can do one of two things. You can check it because I know that pi, if I find a common denominator of 5, is 5 pi over pi. 5 pi over 5. And I know that 4 pi over 5 is a little bit smaller than that, so I know that I'm in quadrant 2. The other thing you could do is change this into degrees. So I'm taking 180 degrees divided by pi. Uh, when I do that, I end up with 144 degrees, which also confirms that we're in quadrant number two. So whichever way you wanna go, as long as you know where you're at before you answer this question, it's important. So since I know I'm in quadrant two, and quadrant two is okay, that's uh, one of the quadrants in the range of inverse cosine, I can answer that the answer to this is going to be 4 pi over 5. Okay, so that's my answer, 4 pi over 5, and that is answer number, or letter B, I should say, it's not a number. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at number 5. Question number 5. Okay, question number 5 asks us to find the inverse cosine. of the cosine of negative pi over six. So once again, we have to know, because the inverse cosine is my outside function, I wanna know what the, my answer, or what uh, quadrant my answer should be. The range of inverse cosine is once again, zero to pi. Okay, so we know that is quadrant one and quadrant two. Negative pi over six is in quadrant four. So that doesn't work. At this point, now we have to know what the value of cosine is in quadrant four. So that way we can move it into the proper quadrant. So once again, remember that positive uh, values are in quadrant one, negative values are in quadrant two. All right, since this is a negative pi over six, if we look at, and we're in quadrant four, if we look at all students take calc, cosine is actually positive in quadrant four. So I gotta move negative pi over six to quadrant number one. Okay, to do that, all I have to do is remove the negative sign. So if I remove the negative sign, I get the value of pi over six. Now I'm okay because that is inside of the, the range of inverse cosine. So the answer for this is C. That one's a little tricky, but once again, you have to know where you are and where you're supposed to go. Okay, so that was number five. Let's look at number six. Number six says I have inverse tangent of tangent of six pi over seven. Okay, 
First things first, because my outside function is inverse, I got to know what my answers are, or where my answers are supposed to be. So therefore, I have to know the range of inverse tangent. The range of this is quadrant 4 and quadrant 1 because the range is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay, so once again, if the value is positive, it's going to go in quadrant 1, negative in quadrant 4. All right, so let's check out 6 pi over 7. Where is it? So once again, you could either change this into degrees or you can use my trick of using pi uh, is equal to a common denominator of 7 pi over 7. So 6 pi over 7 is a little bit smaller than that, so I know I'm in quadrant 2. Quadrant 2, we need to know now if tangent is positive or negative in quadrant 2. So I go back to all students take calc. I'm in quadrant 2. I know tangent is negative. Okay, so now I know that tangent's negative. I need to move from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4. Why? Because my range says I have to have a quadrant 4 or a quadrant uh, one angle, and because uh, tangent's negative in quadrant four, that's where I need to move it to. So how do I do that? I'm going to take seven pi over seven because that's pi, and I'm going to subtract that six pi over seven from pi. And when I do that, I get pi over seven. Okay, so that's a reference angle. That's in quadrant one. Now all I have to do is move this to quadrant four by tacking on the negative sign. So your answer is negative pi over 7, which corresponds to answer C. All right, that's it for this part.